It's Tio and Kira in the Mornings Podcast. Like what you hear? Give us five stars. Waiting all day for the good stuff. Tio and Kira, I just can't get enough. Second date update is what I want to hear. They're so funny, they make it hard to steer. Kick back and relax, the show's not so fun. Grab some coffee and a cinnamon bun. And Kira in the morning on a feel good Friday. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Kira Lou Pup. Well, I have a question for you, my little friend. Bring it on, girlfriend. Are you ready for the weekend? See, si. claro que si. <laughs> I don't think you heard me. I said, are you ready for the weekend? See, si. Claro que si. <laughs> well, when I say fry, you say yay. Fry. Yay. Fry. Yay. And when I say weak, you say end. Weak. End. Weak. End. Pretty good. Pretty good. First part was done in Spanish. Well, well Just trying I to heard... change it up. Claro que si. si yes. Yes. Claro que si means like, of course. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I took of French course. in high school. Of so course. I was Heck lost. yeah. Okay. You know, it's a, trying to change it up. I love right? it. Right? Trying to change it up. So That's a good goal for us is to maybe do it, the complete Friday chant in a different language. Yeah. It's good to have goals. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Keep everybody on their toes. They'll be looking at the dial like, am I listening to Spanish <laughs> radio? <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, can you flip to Spanish? How you doing? I'm good. That was fun yesterday. We had a little happy hour for a coworker yeah, who was leaving. Yes, that was kind of cool. We were at the Wilder in Portsmouth, and uh, it's a classy joint. Had you ever been there? I have never been there, no. Cool vibes, right? Yes, very cool. I think, I mean, you know, Portsmouth's just dope. It is. It's just a, a dope, dope little town there. It is. It's cute. Lots of lots of good spots. Yeah. You, do you uh, go there a lot? I do. I okay. do indeed. One of my favorites. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, the coworker that we had the uh, goodbye party for, she like raved about it. She was there like I don't know a week ago or something like that, or because we gave her uh, a gift card, a gift card like for I don't know wedding anniversary or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was just raving on the food and the vibe, and it was. Great, blah, blah, blah. So, it is a good place. I recommend it. Out. And right downstairs, so you didn't have to travel far. Not too far. And you went out afterwards, too. I well, yeah, to... I wanted to get tacos at Barrio after. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I had tacos, too, by the way. But... Mm, it's a taco kind of night. Yeah, but I made them. I okay, on, so. homemade. So you got a home uh, pretty late, I guess, right? Not really, like 8.30. Oh, that's not too bad. No, I was probably uh, in Snooze Town by 9. Uh, ready for the weekend? I'm ready for the... I was chanting about it. Oh, that's Were true. you here? No, I was not. Okay. I was not. But you're going to New York, right? I'm going to New York going City. To New York City. First time um, since COVID. I haven't been since like 2019. It's crazy. Yeah, nice, nice. I'm going to Jersey. Very See, nice. Baby Bodie. You're going to get all the baby uh, snuggles. It is, it is snuggle time. I'm going to, they bought this big giant playpen and there's all kind of pillows in there so I can like chill in there and he can play around. We don't got to worry about the dogs because there's three dogs in the house. And stuff. Mm-hmm. So That's awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to that. He's, Send me some pics of the little guy I with will. the teeth, I with will. the teeth poking yes. out. <laughs> Looks like a homeless person. Look One tooth is yes. poking out. It's too funny. All right, 537, the Mine Benda is next. How far would you 
go for your child? Well, for Chris Brannigan, the answer is 1,000 miles, barefoot. So Chris is a soldier from the UK, and he is a proud daddy to a little girl. She's eight years old. Her name is Hosty. And Hosty was born with a rare genetic disease called CDLS. And Hosty's got big dreams. She wants to be a chef or a dancer, maybe both, Mm -hmm. when she grows up. And to ensure that she's able to reach these dreams, her barefoot daddy soldier walked 1,000 miles from Maine to North Carolina to raise money for treatment and to raise awareness around this horrible disease. The fundraiser is called Hope for Hosty, and uh, he started his trek on August 31st in Bar Harbor, Maine, and then completed 45 days later, October 18th, at the Raleigh Fire Department in North Carolina. Wow. It's been an unbelievable journey, and we have all of the links uh, to... If you want to donate to his cause, it's a really touching story. And the pictures when he finally gets to his destination mm-hmm. and Hostie is waiting for him. If, if that doesn't make you burst into waterworks, I'm mm-hmm. not sure what will. So those are all on our 97.5 WOKQ app. That is next level stuff doing it barefoot. I'm telling you. Well, they say it should be better for your feet, actually. Haven't you heard that? Like, I, I sometimes I see people running the Boston Marathon barefoot. Really? Yeah. That's a thing. Barefoot or those those things that look like feet? You put them on your... Oh, yeah, looks, and it has little individual yeah, toes. Yeah, it looks like a sock or something. That People have done it barefoot, though. Because I guess our feet are not meant to be shoved into shoes. Like when we were cave people, our feet just kind of were able to be sprawled out, and it's better for them. Wow. Yeah. I read a whole uh, article about uh, it. No, I... No, I, I that's... Uh, whether it's better or not, it's 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 got to be harder on your feet. And he had if you're to walking. Have... If you're walking, I mean, I'd prefer Skechers or something like that. <laughs> Imagine how dirty his feet were after that. Ooh, I hope what, he got was, a good pedicure. Was there like a tie-in? Uh, has something to do with the feet with the daughter? I so, don't so, think so. So he did that. Oh, he just wanted to do something. A That's li- a good question. A little though. bit different because we're seeing once again. Didn't I? I think yesterday I talked about somebody. That walked the country. Mm-hmm. You know. The it's other, a thing. The other one jogged the country. Yeah. You know, ran, or ran, I should say, from here Our to the other. Our friend Mike. Yeah, Mike r- runs across America. He ran it. Mm-hmm. You know, one guy walked it, whatever. Uh, and and this guy did it, does it barefoot. So that's next level, man. Yes, it is. Dedication. That is the good stuff. Listen to your favorite country on any smart speaker. Set our skill and just ask Alexa to play 97.5 WOKQ. It is 638. Famous people 411. Oh my God. You're not going to believe what an A-lister just did. It's shocking. Pretty shocking. Pretty shocking. So we're going to fill you in coming up on Famous People 411. Dead River People 411 on Geo and Kira in the morning. The Famous People 411 is brought to you by Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses on Route 1 in Seabrook. So this is a really tragic and crazy story. So Alec Baldwin is in New Mexico uh, shooting this movie called Rust. And they're like shooting on this ranch in New Mexico. And apparently he was using a prop gun and it misfired and it killed somebody. It killed a cinematographer. Yeah. And killed also someone. Killed somebody. On the set. And, did, and injured another person? I don't know if you have that in front of you. Yeah, the director, uh, his name is Joel Souza. Oh, he got injured too? The he dire- was rushed to the hospital and he's in critical condition. Oh my. Or he was as of last night. What I don't understand, Kiki, and I don't know if you have all the facts there, hmm. if it's a prop gun, it's a fake gun, right? Yes. That's the that's the deal. And it was supposedly loaded with blanks. So I don't know how that w- that could happen. I don't know a lot about prop guns. No, me neither. Yeah, that's a prop gun. Uh, I'm, not, I'm thinking would be a gun that, uh, that that's not a real gun. Right. You know, so obviously... It's supposed it's, to look real. Y- yes. So 
obviously it's a real gun or this prop gun performs like a real gun mm-hmm. and what about well, you know what a mistake that it had a bullet in there how did they mess that up uh, I, I, they keep saying it misfired it misfired but if it misfires oh God, can you that imagine? means someone's dead I mean, it's it's crazy, and yeah. obviously they're trying to get a comment from Alec Baldwin, and he's not commenting oh, about yeah. it. It's not his fault. He's it's, an actor with a prop gun. It's horrible, though. So it's supposed to be. A, yeah, I know, but it's, it's not. A, he's not a murderer. No, he's not a murderer. But what the heck happened no, there? I, I know. I, uh, these poor families of these people. Nuts. Can't even believe nuts, it. Nuts, man. So uh, if we get any more information in that department, we'll be sure to keep you posted. Uh, In lighter, brighter, happier news, uh, some performers came out yesterday um, who we can expect to see perform at the CMAs Mm -hmm. this Mm -hmm. year. Ooh, child, what a lineup. Uh, So Jimmy Allen will be there. Mm -hmm. Brothers Osborne, The Chief, Eric Church, uh, Dan and Shay, Mickey Guyton, Carly Pierce, Ashley McBride. I think those two are doing their song together. Blake Shelton. And that's just the beginning. More artists are going to be announced in the coming weeks. It's going going to be an amazing show. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, they're always huge. They always have all all the A-listers for for the most part. Mm Mm-hmm. It's going to be huge. And it's uh, hosted yeah, by Luke Bryan. Yeah, yeah, huge. Yeah. Got to be huge. Yeah. Uh, China. <laughs> China. Uh, the 55th <laughs> annual CMA Awards are on November 10th on ABC. BC. So that is your famous people, 411. It's Gio and Kira in the morning. Number one for New Country. 97.5 WOKQ. It is coming up on 654 on your Friday. Mm. Second date update for our Seven o'clockers coming up uh, right around 7.05. 975 oh, yeah. with Chio and Kira in the morning. Let's do this. Second date update today brought to you by Marquee Roofing Online at marqueeroofing.com. Tim in Dover. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how are you? Good. Kira's right here with me. So we'd love to hook you up on that second date with Julie. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, I hope you can make it happen. Uh, we met on Tinder. I thought we had an instant connection, right? And we started talking on the app. It was comfortable and easy. And, you know, we started asking lots of questions, trying to get to know each other. And it, it was nice. You know, it didn't feel one-sided. Mm-hmm. You know, like sometimes it's like women expect the guy to do all the work and all the questions. And they just do a one word yes no response it was none of that it was, it was like a good good interaction for a bit and then we decided to meet in person and julie said she was dying to go to salem right around halloween time so that's what we did you know we took a little road trip walked nice. around salem it's like a total scene uh we went to a few bars had some food we took some fun pictures there was this guy dressed up like mike myers we, we took some funny photos of that and that was that you know i thought it was a really fun day and uh, it ended with, uh, yeah, we should do this again sometime. Like, she seemed to have a good time. I had a good time. And she won't even text me back now, and I, I can't figure out why. Wow, that sounds like a cool date, man. That's kind of different. Yeah, that's fun, especially this time of year. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, we were laughing. The conversation was mostly pretty easy. Like, I, I don't know what happened. Did she know you guys were doing the Salem thing? Was that... That, that was planned out, right? Like, you know, maybe she may not like Halloween. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, you know, meet me for coffee and I'm abducting you to Salem for right, eight hours. Right, no, right, No, no, it was a right. Salem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I was just double-checking on that, you know, maybe. Uh, that's not that's my... a full day trip, so yeah. you want to commit to that beforehand. Yeah, okay. All right, Tim. Yeah. We're going to put you on hold, and uh, you're going to give us Julie's phone number. We are going to call Julie next on Second Date Update and see, get her version of how she's for the night play out. Let's hope it's good news and uh, someone someone had to go to the hospital and that's why she can't text yeah, me back, of course. right? Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we hope that's not the case. All right. It's a second date update on number one for New Country, 97.5 WOKQ and 103.7 The Peak. We'll make that phone call next. Chio and Kira in the morning. All went great. Look at the pictures you posted. You wondered what happened. Felt kind of abandoned. Oh, snap, it looks like you've been ghosted. Let Gio and Kira make the call for you. They'll set that second date up for you. Second date updates.
second date update. Chio and Kira second date update. Exclusively. On number one for New Country 97.5 WOKQ. Second date update today brought to you by Marquee Roofing online at MarqueeRoofing.com. Right, so we did get a hold of Julie, and she has agreed to come on the air with us. Uh, she knows that she is on our feature called Second Date Update. Just trying to get a little bit of clarity uh, for our friend and our listener, Tim. We know you guys went out on a date, and from where he was sitting, he thought it was like one of the best dates ever, that you guys had a really fun day in Salem. So did he do something wrong because he can't get a text back from you, and he was hoping to see you again? Tim did not... Do something wrong. He's a super nice guy. I really like him, um, <laughs> but it's it, I I had to just stop talking to him because it wouldn't be fair to string him along. Is basically my feeling. Um, I went to a psychic, and this is going to sound crazy, but I, I have a psychic who I really really trust, and I've been going to her for a really long time, and. Um, like, for example, um, she predicted my, my dad was going to pass away suddenly, and he did. Um, so wow. unless the psychic killed my dad, this is a really good psychic. I went to the psychic, and the psychic was not pumped about Tim. And so that is my reasoning. After the date, you saw the psychic. And yeah. Right, right, okay. So, and you were just uh, like, no. where is this going? I said, you know, I went on a date, and I was kind of into the guy, and um, we had a really nice time. And uh, my psychic said, you know, it's just, it's not going to work out. Like, this guy wow. is not, this is not your person. And wow. so I just really trust her. And so I'm not going to waste Tim's time and I'm not going to waste my time if we're not meant to be. I, I, I feel like I sound like an insane person, but I mean, she's been right in the past. So it's kind of like, what's the point if, if I'm continuing to date if we're not going to be right for each other. I know of some people who swear by psychics to make a decision on that, and she's hit before. Okay. What we didn't tell you is that Tim is on the line. Okay. Okay. You know, he had a good time. <laughs> you had a good time. So he just wanted to know what's up. So could I bring him in to at least get, get closure? Is that okay with you? Yeah, absolutely. Tim, did you hear what she had to say? Yeah. Wow. Really? The you don't want to do a second date because your psychic said not to? Wow. You don't think that's a little ridiculous? I get that. I'm, I'm really sorry, Tim. I, I just trust Mariah's intuition. Like, she's able to see things that, that, you know, other people can't. She doesn't even know me. She's never even, like... See me, I understand, like, if you're like, hey, this is my friend Mariah, we met him, and then she's like, oh, he has bad energy or whatever, like, she's never met me, what, what? I, and I have good vibes, I don't, this is so, just weird. Yeah. I mean, general, you do, you have good vibes, but, like, after I was, after I saw Mariah, I was reflecting on our date, and I'm thinking about the reading that she gave me, and I did, it made me think, like, I, I started to think about some moments where we were just, like, out of sync, and maybe it wasn't perfect, and it did feel a little strange. Yeah, it was a first date. It's not going to be perfect. Of course, it's going to feel a little strange here or there, you know? We were strangers getting to know each other, like... like. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't want you to get upset. I mean, like, this is this is what I mean. Like, your energy just feels, like, slightly off to me, and, and that, to me, just proves Mariah right. Hold on, Tim. I gotta worry about... Hold on, Tim. Too. Tim, hold on one second. Julie, we are calling to see... I, I guess there's nothing to see, actually, to be honest with you. Cause, so the whole thing for this is to see if you will go on on a second date. But in this case, uh, the psychic says uh, not a good fit, so you don't want to waste your time. No sense asking you, yeah. right? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I got to go with Mariah. Gotcha. On this one. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Thanks for coming on the air with us to to explain. At, at least now, you know. Now Tim knows. At least he knows. Yeah. Thanks so much. Tim, not what, you're, not what you wanted to hear, man, but you know. Yeah, well, I mean, look, at least, at least I know, like, I'm fine on a date. The actual date was good. I didn't do anything yeah, weird or bad no, on the date. No. Just 
a second woman who I've never met. She doesn't like me, so I guess I can't date the first woman anymore. That's yeah. great. Well, some people swear by psychics, so sorry we couldn't help you, okay? And best of luck to you both. Thanks for clarifying it, at least. Bye. Bet, man. It's Gio and Kira in the morning. Number one for New Country. 97.5 WOKQ. Hey, it's Jad from the Afternoon Show. Time now for Can't Beat Kira. Brought to you by the Goat Bar and Grill. We have Dawn from Raymond on the line. Hello. Hello. Dawn is joined in the car by 10-year-old Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Hi. Hi. Are you going to help out mom today with with, with the game? Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. I love it. All right. Who's kicking Chio out, Dawn or Jackson? You. Chio, get out of there. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. she ain't ain't playing (laughs) around. Whoa. Chio, you don't have to cry. Yeah, it's okay. okay let me call my <laughs> oh, he's going to go call his mommy. Oh, no. Now look what you've done, Dawn. I don't, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, she says. I love that. Okay. Chio has exited the premises. This is a pop culture trivia Woo. contest. You get more right than Chio, you win. If you tie, you still have to say that phrase of shame, but you're walking away with tickets to see Chase Rice at the Hampton Beach Casino Ballroom. Are we clear, Donny girl? Very clear. All right, let's get started. Okay. Question number one. Which actress starred in the 90s Nickelodeon classic called Clarissa Explains It All? Was it A, Melissa Joan Hart, B, Sarah Michelle Gellar, or C, Jennifer Love Hewitt? Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Question number two. Which TV chef was known for yelling his catchphrase, BAM, while cooking? A, Gordon Ramsay, B, Emerald Lagasse, Lagasse, I think I'm saying that right, and then C, Rachel Ray. B, Emerald. Question number three. Right now, the final season of The Ellen DeGeneres Show is airing. What number season is it? A, 9, B, 12, C, 19. 19. We'll play part two next. 97 now for Can't Beat Kira. Brought to you by the Goat Bar and Grill. How do you think you did, Don from Raymond? I think I did all right. Jackson, how do you think Mama did? Good. Oh, so supportive. I love that. It's unconditional love is what it is. Exactly. I'm waving Chio back in. And we'll see how it goes here. Oh, boy. It's a real nail biter, isn't it? It is. I'm All nervous. Right. All right, here he is. We gotta stop talking about him. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, Don and Raymond, thank you so much for playing. Have a good day. Oh. <laughs> hey, no, my Should... auntie, we ain't playing like that. Oh, oh. Should we just save time? I'm just talking about saving time. You know. No saving time. You're losing. Oh. Oh, I like her um, style. She like on. stands up for herself. What a strong okay, woman. Bring okay. It on. Bring it on, Kira Lou. All right, you're ready, Chi. Yes. Seems like you are. Okay. Question number one. <laughs> Which actress starred in the 90s Nickelodeon classic, Clarissa Explains It All? Is it A, Melissa Joan Hart, B, Sarah Michelle Gellar, or C, Jennifer Love Hewitt? What's the name of the show? Clarissa Explains It All. Okay, and was on Nickelodeon? Yeah. And my choices are again, uh, Melissa Joan Hart? Sarah Michelle Gellar and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Huh, I'm going to go with uh, Melissa Joan Hart. Joan Hart. Chio says A, Melissa Joan Hart. Is that a complete guess, Chio? That will be a complete guess. I don't think it was um, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I'm familiar with a lot of her stuff. I don't think she did that. She worked on Nickelodeon at all. So it's I, that, that's, I'm just doing process of elimination. I could be wrong, but okay. guess. Yes, to answer your question, guess. So Chio says Melissa Joan Hart, and uh, Dawn said Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Melissa Joan Hart is correct. Boom! Lucky guess. Oh, boom. So I'm talking about. Give us that phrase of shape. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm jumping the gun. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what one, Keo. Is... That's one. Okay. Yeah, All really. Right. All right. Knock him off his high horse. All right. Which TV chef was known for yelling his catchphrase, bam, while cooking? A, Gordon Ramsay, B, Emeril Lagasse, or C, Rachel Ray? B, Emeril. Legasse, Legasse, whatever. Boom, bang, bam, pow. 
<laughs> yes. Um, That's a food question to a fat guy. That's not even fair for Dawn. Stop, stop. No, because I'm a fat girl. I like food. Boom. Now we're talking. Okay, now all of a sudden, we're, now we're on the same page. Guys, <laughs> you are both hilarious, and you both got it right. Okay. Emerald. Yes. <laughs> okay. Question number three. Right now, for the win, by the way. Right now, the final season of Ellen DeGeneres is airing. What number season is it? Is it A9, B12, or C19? Uh, C19. C19. Yeah. Yeah, Dawn said C19, too. Chi Chi says C19. 19 is correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You know what happens when it's a tie. Yeah, we do need that phrase of shame, Don. I'm Don, and I'm from Raymond, and I can't beat Chio. But, well, actually, uh, it's not a tie because she got two and you got three. Oh. Oh, okay. oh yeah. So I win. I thought it was a tie. All right, that's right. I got all three right. Wow. I thought it was a tie. Too. That's four in a row, and uh, hey, thanks for playing. Thank you. But, but it is a feel good Friday. It is a feel good Friday, and and I just we just did a segment on things that can make us more attractive. Empathy, yes. empathy was one. So I have empathy that you lost. Aww. So I'm going to give you the tickets to see Chase Rice Hampton Beach Casino Ballroom anyway. Yes, thank you, Gio. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Hold on. Live from Town Square Media, Old Dominion. Light is so make it sweet. 97.5 WOKQ wants to hook you up with tickets to the show, airfare, hotel, and 500 bucks spending money. Here's Chio and Kira with this hour's code word. Boy. 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 B-O-Y. That's boy. Open up your 97.5 WOKQ app and enter that word into the contest page. Good luck. It's Chio and Kira in the morning 